pretty cool noise, Tyler. <laughs> That's my cassowary noise, and I've Ooh. been practicing that ever since we did International Day of the Tropics. If you missed it, you can check it out on our website. Can you teach me that noise? I certainly can, and I'm going to teach all the play uppers at home oh, too. Oh, good. All right, get your cassowary wings ready. Okay. Stretch out your long cassowary necks. Yep. And breathe in. <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm not very good at it yet, Tyler. Oh, I wish there was an instruction <laughs> booklet on it. Oh, that's okay. Because today, for World Youth Skills Day, we're going to be making some instruction booklets. <gasps> oh, phew! <Whoa. laughs> Hi, Play Uppers! Welcome back to On Air Play Up. My name's Siobhan. And my name's Tyler. And today, we're celebrating World Youth Skills Day by making some instruction booklets to share your very special skills. A skill could be something you do with your body, like skipping, jumping really high, or it could be being a good friend and listening. Listening. Mm. My special skill is going to be something I'm good at, something I've been learning about on the weekend. <laughs> what is it? Gardening! Gardening! And for gardening, I'm going to draw some tools that you need for gardening, like shovels and gardening gloves. Good and I'm idea. also going to show you how to plant a plant by doing some steps in my booklet. Exciting! Well, my special skill is going to be about making art, <gasps> painting a picture. Yeah, I'm going to draw the steps you'll need to do to paint a picture and all the tools you'll need. And we've got some other instruction booklets here on the we table do. with us. So this one is how to eat spaghetti. That looks like a good one. Yeah, and for this, they've got some special tools for eating spaghetti. Mm. So there's a fork, a bowl, and of course, spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> we've got one here as well that's all about playing footy, Tyler. It's got all the different types of football, AFL, soccer, rugby, some different footballs, some goals, and some footy boots. You'd need them. All the special equipment <laughs> needed for footy. Yeah. So get thinking about your special skill play uppers. Yeah. But first, we need to acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people of Australia and yep. wash our hands. Okay. Put your hands up, you can do it with us. Ready? Together, we touch the ground of the land. And together we reach for the sky that covers the land. And we touch our hearts to care for the land. All right. And now we need and to wash our hands. we need to wash our hands. Ooh, we've got our magic hand okay. soap here. Doesn't oh. even need water. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you've almost washed me out of the picture, Siobhan. All right, okay, you ready? ready? <laughs> if you're crafting and you know, wash your hands. Bruce Bluesh. If you're crafting and you know, wash your hands. Scrub, scrub. If you're crafting and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're crafting and you know it, wash your hands. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Splish, sploosh. <laughs> All right, so to make our instruction booklets today, what are we going to need? We're going to need some paper. Uh, it doesn't matter what size you've got. Any size is good. And we're going to need our crafting essentials. So some crayons, pencils, textures, anything you've got. Some we, glue. Some glue. Some sticky tape. <gasps> Whoa, oh. that's uh, very heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> we might need to get stuck in. <laughs> yeah. And we also need some things to decorate. So Some streamers. We've got some shiny sequins Ooh. and pom-poms. But you might find all sorts of things anything. around the house. Yep. All right. Step number one. We need to get our piece of paper and we need to fold it in half so it looks a little bit like a book. All right, so grab your piece of paper. Remember, it doesn't matter what size. Fold it in half there like that. Oh, it's trickier than it looks. It is tricky. Okay, I fold it in half. So now I've got a book. Oh, look at that. I've got one too. But there's nothing on it. How are they going to know what our instruction booklets are about? True. So what's going to be, how are you going to let people know? Well, remember, my special skill is gardening. That's right. So let people know that it's about gardening. I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to draw a big plant on it so that you can look at it and see that it's about gardening. Good idea. Well, 
My special skill was about art and making pictures. So on the front cover, I'm going to draw a big paintbrush so everybody knows what it's mm. going to be about. So your special get thinking about your special skill and what you might draw mm. to let people know what your book is all about. All right, drawing my paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Drawing my pot for my plant. And there's lots of different kinds of skills, isn't there, Siobhan? Yeah. But is a skill just something you're good at, Tyler? Like how you're pretty good at drawing and colouring in? Well, a skill doesn't have to be something you're good at. It could be something you want to learn more about or just something you can do. So like how we're crafting right now? Yeah. Crafting. Crafting's a skill. And crafting has lots of different skills involved. It so does. Cutting skills with scissors, and if you're using scissors at home, be a little bit careful and ask for help if you need it. Yeah, and glue stick skills. Ooh, so we can stick right in there. Yeah. Also, drawing skills. Oh, oh. Yeah. Glue stick skills. <laughs> <laughs> drawing skills, like we're doing right here with our title picture. Yeah. Hmm. But also a skill could be something that you do with your body, like skipping, jumping, running really fast. <laughs> yeah, lots of those skills are involved in playing sports. They are. Sporty skills like throwing. <gasps> Go! <laughs> Yay! And what about music? <gasps> music makes me way better at my dancing skills. Oh, oh, look at those dancing skills. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but a skill could also be something like teamwork. Yeah, that's Which, something we practice a lot here in Play Up. Yeah, teamwork skills. Hmm. What about, there's some other skills. There really is, What Sean. about, me talking really fast like this all the time, is this a skill? Yeah, that certainly is a skill, Simone. And if I'm going to hear about that one, I might need to get my listening skills out. Oh, well, listening makes you better at learning about people, places and things. Oh, OK, I'm finished listening. <laughs> mm, so there's lots of different skills and another skill I'm really good at. Yeah. Math skills. Oh, math skills. Did you know I have some good counting skills? I can count to one million. <gasps> can you? Oh, it's going to take forever, Tyler. Don't worry. Go on. One, two, three, one million. Oh, that was really quick, Tyler. <laughs> Counting skills. <laughs> yeah. And what about science skills? Science skills. Like, I know the names of all the planets. Saturn... Mars and Uranus. Uranus, <laughs> but learning a different language is also a skill. It is. There are so many different skills and I bet our play uppers have some fantastic skills. I bet they do. They could share them with us on the yeah. Play Up Community Facebook page. Maybe we could try them. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> All right, so how is your big title picture coming along? Yeah. I'm just gluing mine in. So oh, I've got my picture here, which is a picture of a plant. And I'm just putting some glue on the back before I stick it onto my page. So I've drawn my big paintbrush. And if you know how to write, you could write a title. And if you want some help, maybe you could ask for some help for, to write a title. So mine says art, so everybody knows. Hmm. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, so I've got my big picture on there, all about gardening. Mm -hmm. And well, if we're going to do some gardening, we might need to put some steps in our booklet, yeah. showing something that you can do for your special skill. Yeah, you need to tell people what they need to do for your skill. So what would your first step be? Hmm, well, I'm just going to draw my steps straight on. If you're gardening, you're going to want to plant lots of plants. Planting mm. skills. Planting <laughs> skills. <laughs> so, step number one for planting would yeah. be digging a hole in the garden. True. So, I'm going to draw a picture of a hole dug in the dirt. Good idea. Well, the first step you would need to do to make some art or paint a painting would be <gasps> get all your paints ready. 
and get your paint brushes ready. So I'm going to draw that first. So mm, everybody knows. Getting ready. Yep. Now I've drawn a hole in the dirt. Next, you would need to put a plant in the hole in the dirt. So I'm going to draw number two here and draw a hole with a plant in it. Good idea. So get thinking about what steps you need for your skills play uppers. All right, we're drawing away. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> sharing <laughs> skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, putting all my paints on my paper. Mm. Now we know all about what a skill is. Yeah. And we've started doing some steps to show people how to do a skill. Mm -hmm. But what is World Youth Skills Day all about? Well, World Youth Skills Day is about the skills that youth or young people have and how they might use those skills to invent new technologies, solve problems, and help people do things. Mm. Skills are really cool for doing all of those things. Yeah. And if we combine our skills together, <sighs> we can do amazing things, Siobhan, that you can't do by yourself. True. Imagine making a movie, Tyler. I love movies. So do I. <gasps> we <are> <laughs> oh, it's stuck together. Oh, no. So to make a movie, some people need to use their writing skills to write the story. So step one, writing skills. Yeah. And some people need to use their acting or their pretending skills yeah. to act out the words. True. Acting skills. Yeah. And the next step would be for some people to use their filming skills to film the movie. Oh, wow. Oh, and when we combine all those skills together, yeah. we get a movie about dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Or something else. Yeah. Yeah. Or something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Talking about combining different skills. Yeah. What have we got in your instruction booklet, Siobhan? Well, I've drawn all the paints ready to go on the paper, on the plate. And, ooh. I've drawn the paintbrush and some water. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Yeah. That's looking really good. What have and you drawn? I've got my hole, which we've dug in the garden to Ooh, put our plant in. And, but I was just thinking, if yeah. you're going to dig a hole in the garden for yeah. gardening, you might need some special tools. It'd be hard <gasps> to dig a big hole just with your hands. Yeah. You might need a shovel. And also some gloves for moving the plant so your That's hands a good don't get idea. dirty. People would need to know what special tools you need for your skill. Yeah. So maybe we should write in or draw in our special tools. That's a great idea. For building sand castles, you might need a shovel, a bucket and some sand. <gasps> yeah. yeah. And if your thing was something like your special skill, how to be a friend, you might need love. Mm -hmm. no. oh. <laughs> or if it was listening, you might need a big ear to listen yeah. with. Dancers need dancing shoes and music and soccer players need soccer balls and soccer boots. And goals. Mm. So you've got to think about your special tools that you would need. Mm. Now so, my special tools, oh, I yeah. just saved the set, Siobhan. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> so I'm going to draw my special tool in this little window. Now how I made this is I got a little piece of paper. Yeah. And I folded it over so that when I stick it in my book, it can open up and show my tool. So I'm just going to draw my tool in here, which will be a shovel, and stick it on. Good idea. So I'm just drawing my tools in the top. So I've already drawn a paintbrush, and now I'm going to draw some paint. Ah, I wonder what special tools play up as need for their very special skills. Yeah. Could be all sorts of things. Just drawing my shovel. You know where a great place is to learn some special skills, Siobhan? Where? School! School! Yeah, <laughs> I learned to read and to write at school and they're pretty important skills. Yeah, and I learned how to play and share better. Yeah, learning and education is a very special children's right. And rights are something that all children should have or be able to do. Yeah. But we also learn so many different things outside of school. True. Like I learned to cook at home 
And I also learned lots about plants and animals when I go bushwalking. Yeah. And what are some other things you learn outside of school? Museums! Museums are a great museums. place to learn things. <laughs> like the museum in, we're in right now, the Museum of Australian Democracy, Tyler. Yeah, you can learn some really cool things by visiting museums or galleries. You can. And some other people learn some pretty special skills from other people. Like some people learn how to build houses. Other people learn how to fix things with electricity. They need some very special tools and skills for those jobs. They do. And some people learn to sew, to make <gasps> clothes. Like my mum learnt to sew and she taught me and her mum taught her. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's lots of different skills you can learn and it's really fun and exciting to learn about things you're interested in it or is. care a lot about. It is. Mm. Speaking of things I care a lot about, Siobhan. <laughs> yeah. My gardening instructions are coming <laughs> on very well. <laughs> what tools have you drawn, Taylor? Well, I've just drawn my glove, mm -hmm. which didn't turn out quite how I wanted it, but that's okay. Yeah. And I've put some glue on the back and I'm sticking it on there. I'm just going to do the same with my shovel, so I'll show you that. So see, now we've got a glove, but we can close our little window and then we can open it to show the glove. <gasps> <gasps> that's a clever trick. Thank you. I've drawn all my tools in the top of my booklet. So you know you need some paint, you need a paintbrush, some paper and an apron just in case it gets messy. Oh, very messy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we need to draw some more steps, Tyler, though. I've only got two steps. We do. So if mine's gardening, we've dug a hole, we've mm -hmm. put a plant in the hole, but if you're moving a plant into a new spot, they really like a little bit of water. So I'm going to get some of this blue streamer here. Yeah. <gasps> and some green streamer. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to scrunch it up and stick it on my page so it looks a bit like water watering a plant. And I'll show you when Good I'm done. Good idea. So the next step of my booklet would be getting your paper out and putting a little bit of paint on first. You start with a little bit and then you add more. Yeah. So I'm just going to show people that you just add a little bit first. A little bit first mm -hmm. and everybody will know how to start their paintings and how to water their plants. Yeah. I'm just sticking mine on with sticky tape. Now you might have lots of different things around the house that you could use to decorate kind of the way I am. Mm -hmm. For my extra step there, so I'm screwing that out and putting it on. Now, Siobhan, yeah. learning can be a lot of fun, but also sometimes it can be pretty difficult. It can. <laughs> I love reading and I love learning all kinds of things from different books, but learning to read was really hard and sounding out all those words was really tough. Yeah. And it's okay not to be the, the best at something when you first start, but you love reading now, don't you, Siobhan? Yeah, I do. Um, the more I practice, the better I got at reading. And now I can read all kinds of different oh, books. How exciting. I know. Oh, like, and I've tried lots of different sports, but yeah. I was never the best. So I started playing soccer, but I didn't score lots of goals. And then I played hockey and I was the goalie, but I didn't block lots of goals either. Then I played squash. And I didn't always score the most points, but I always had fun and trying new things is lots of fun and that's what it's all about. Yeah, and trying and practicing is the best way to get better at something. Like I practice my reading in the stories room and play up. Oh, yeah, and the more I practice, the better I get at it. Yeah. yeah, and it's okay to make mistakes when you're learning. Yeah. A bit like us here at On Air Player. Yeah. We used to get very <laughs> scared and a little bit nervous coming we out in did. front of all of you play up. Oh. We practiced and then we got better and better and now we can just go. <laughs> We're not scared at all, player. <laughs> and it's okay to be a little bit scared. It is. Mm. But you know what? Yeah. It's all about just trying your best. It is. Because trying your best, Siobhan, is, is the, the best. best. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right. Now, I've got... My picture here to show everybody minds about gardening. Yeah. I've got my two little tools there, a shovel and some gloves. If you can see them, I hope so. And we've got some steps for digging and putting a plant in the hole. But I'm thinking 
I need some more decoration on there, don't I? Yeah. yeah so I'm just going to get a couple of different colours and do some drawing and also stick a couple of pom-poms on. Good idea. Well, I think I'd need a bit more decoration too. Yeah, okay. So I'm so going to add some sparkly bits. Oh, some sparkly bits. And are you just going to glue them on? I am. With some glue. Oh. My glue stick skills. Glue stick skills! <laughs> <laughs> but our play uppers at home have found all sorts of things to decorate with. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Get my I, glue. I feel like even by doing this, I'm learning new things. And there are so many different ways to learn. There are. How did you learn to be better at drawing, Tyler? Well, at first I wasn't the best drawer, Siobhan. But I went out and I looked at lots of different trees. Yeah. And then I practiced and had a go. So I learned by doing. <gasps> so this is my first tree. It's just one color and doesn't really have any leaves. And then I looked at the trees and I thought they have leaves. Yeah. So I've got a tree with some leaves. <gasps> and then I thought leaves wow. and branches. Leaves and branches. Wow. And then <gasps> an artistic It's a picture. masterpiece. Wow. Now I am a tree master. <laughs> Well, I learned to be better at drawing just by reading lots of books about art and looking at lots of pictures of different people's drawings. Oh, yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. It's amazing that we learned the same thing, but in two very different ways. Exactly. And there's lots of different ways people learn. Mm, some people learn by listening to others. Yeah. Some people learn by watching. <gasps> And sometimes I help myself learn by singing. Do you? Yeah, like all the different elements, very sciencey. Ooh. Helium, hythian. I might need to practice <laughs> that one. <laughs> Practicing's okay. <laughs> That's how we get better. <laughs> but some people also learn better in a team, working together to be better at a skill. Yeah, and sometimes people learn better if they're just practicing by themselves. Yeah. Hmm. And what about teaching? <sighs> Teaching's a great skill where you learn how to explain things so that everyone can understand. Yeah. Mm. So teachers learn how other people learn. Yeah. But we also learn things by teaching others and showing them. Yeah, like our instruction booklets. That's right. Oh, I would love to learn a little bit more about art and craft and painting, Siobhan. Oh, I would love to learn about gardening, Tyler. All I right. think we should swap. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. This is beautiful, Tyler. Look. You can learn how to plant a plant. There's little windows with tools. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, and look at this one. It's all about art. We can tell because there's a paintbrush there. And then we open it up and we've got all different things for our art. We need water and a paintbrush and our paints. And we start small and then we fill up our picture. We're going to learn so much, Tyler. Oh, I love learning Siobhan. <laughs> but, oh, I, I feel something. Oh, are you okay? I think it's a hunger. Oh, no. A hunger to learn more things. <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> I think we should learn something. If you'd like to learn some more things, Pie Uppers, you could check out our family guide on our website. It's got all the craft instructions and some fun games. And don't forget about our close Facebook group, the Play Up Community, where we talk about all things craft. Mm. And if you'd like to learn more about friendship, you could tune in to International Day of Friendship next, next week. week. But remember, if you're still crafting, that's OK. That's okay. You can keep crafting, but help pack up when you're done. Oh, I think we need to go learn some things. Oh, I've got that <laughs> hunger for learning. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, learning!